sorry, that's that's for my thumbnail. So the ICE, do you know what that is? It's the Department of US Immigration and Customs Enforcement, but where they've announced a ban targeting international students. They said, and I quote, non-immigrant F1 and M1 students attending schools that offered in entirely online may not take a full online course load and remain in the United States. The State Department will not issue visas to these students, nor will they be permitted to enter the United States, permitted, permitted to enter the United States. They must depart or face immigration consequences. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Non-immigrant F1 students attending in-person classes are unaffected whatsoever. Now here's the complicated part. Schools adopting a hybrid model, non-immigrant F1 students at these schools will be allowed to take more than one class of three credit hours online online and, you know, remain in the United States. The, these schools must certify to SEVP through the form I-20 that the program is not entirely online and that the student is taking the minimum number of online courses required to progress in their education. The minimum number. So what, what does that even look like? So international students must just hope to take as many in classes in person as possible. Well, I don't, I don't know what they're going to have to do. Can we analyse what the motivation is here anyway? I mean, it seems potentially probable that it comes from a general push from the administration to force in-person instruction. On Wednesday morning, President Trump threatened to cut funding to schools that do not be open, pardon my list. So maybe, and I'll say maybe because I don't have any opinions, the administration is trying to force the hand of colleges, colleges' hands, hands, the, the hands of colleges. Well, of course, this development has not come without pushback from students and colleges alike. Harvard and MIT filed a lawsuit on Wednesday against the Department of Homeland Security and U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement. You know, this, this very one that issued the so order. The lawsuit seeks a temporary restraining order and preliminary and permanent injunctive relief to bar the U.S. Department from enforcing guidelines that prevent international students at currently online-only colleges from remaining in the United States. Harvard's case argues that the guidelines violated the Administrative Procedure Act by failing to consider the important aspects of the problem in advance of its release, failing to provide a reasonable basis for the policy and failing to adequately notify the public. In addition, Harvard's undergraduate dean said in a panel on Monday that the vice provost, provost, I never know how to pronounce that, but international affairs is also contacting ambassadors on behalf of international students to advocate for them. Columbia University is also hoping to bring back international students in need of housing, as Columbia, like Harvard, is taking part in a hybrid system this fall. So what happens next? I guess we'll have to see. Thanks for watching. This is Jelly Cat from TikTok. I guess we'll see if that gets banned too. I'll sing another song. You're welcome. I'm sure you want to hear. You want to hear me sing a song. You want to sing along. Cause I am a great singer. Yes, I'm a great singer. I yeah, I'm a great singer. Frick, I'm a great singer. Yes, I can interpret it sing. Is that really a word that describes singing? Okay, I tried to do a rap. I can't really do a rap, but I tried.